Hello and welcome to the Edges of Earth. My name is Brock. Uh, today I'm in Shin Shin with Jethro, the cameraman, and basically we're going to go fly a drone. So we got this thing last week. I've been practicing the simulator for maybe two or three hours. And uh, so now we're on our way to a park. And we're going to see if we can't kill someone. In addition, this is Jethro's first day of filming. And so hopefully everything goes well, but uh, we'll see. So I have high expectations that his filming skills are amazing and he's going to be the best videographer in the history of the world. Yeah? <laughs> oh my God. So basically, if I'm no good at flying a drone, we can always resort to singing. Yeah? yeah? You know how to sing? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm a good singer. We, yeah. I sang uh, I sing, sang, I sang last night. You sang last night? Yeah, before the lot of students. I gave really? The, yeah. You sang karaoke last night? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I don't do that. So, I'm hoping this works out. So I think we found a spot around us is kind of open. It's enclosed by a lot of trees, so I'm just gonna practice a little bit around here. And then when I feel comfortable after a few minutes, then we'll go up and out. But for now, I think uh, this is where I wanna be. Uh, so basically we have the uh, DJI Mavic Air. So basically, I'm a bit nervous because these things are notoriously known for the loud sound. So I'm, I hear people, we tried to pick up area where there's not a lot of people. Uh, shit over there, people are like sitting in the park, playing the flute, listening to their music calmly, and I'm gonna go destroy their day. Are you afraid of something? No, I'm just have to let it load. So now, basically, they say, wait for a moment. So yeah, basically I launched, everything is going good so far. It's kind of fun to see it on my camera here. I have a little audience over there. Hopefully the little girl isn't going to go play. Oh shoot, there's people over there. I'm like, <laughs> there's people at a picnic over there. I can see them on my camera. Oh my god. Interesting. So now I can't go there because there's people there. What if I rotate? I'm like trying to avoid obstacles here. I'm going below a tree branch. You can hear. <laughs> I'm getting close to a tree branch. That's okay. I'll go back to this. We're at 84% battery. Yeah, so it's basically just like the simulator, which is good. Everything feels completely identical to the simulator, which makes me happy because I spent some time recording on the simulator, so it's good to know that I can learn from the simulator, and then when I get into the real world, it, it's the same. So it's exactly like the simulator. So basically, we found a new spot around here. It's pretty open. We walked a whole one minute, and we're in a new area next to the ostrich. And uh, yeah, let's try a little bit through here. So basically, the, the flattest surface I could find was the trash can. It was either that or the back of the ostrich, so I figured the trash can is a safer option. So basically, I'm just gonna try to uh go into some of the uh, the programs, pre-program program. I never did this before, so I'm going to do a quick shot, but actually, let's go this way. We're going to do an asteroid, and I'm going to show you what it's like, see the final, see the final product of the asteroid. Uh, I'm just going to draw a box around myself, and off she goes. I can't see myself, that's why. Uh, I'm still learning. Give me a second. There we go. Okay. Nope. Nope, it's gonna hit something. I need to go higher. 
now it should technically start doing the helix and not hit a tree, I hope. But I have to keep my eye on it because I'm scared that it might hit that pole behind me and I can't see and it has no side tracking. Jesus, ah, I think it's okay. And we're away from the telephone poles. This is all a learning experience. Now it's coming back. Good. That's pretty much what I wanted. I'm at 33% already just with that little bit of flying. It's insane how fast the batteries go in drones. It's literally crazy. Wow, so 10% remaining. So uh, it made me nervous because I had to launch from under the trees, go out and then up. But the battery default, when, when the battery runs low, it says, hey, we're going home right now. And then it flies over to the top exactly where my destination was. And then it would go down, which would see all of these trees. Uh, and then it wouldn't be able to do it. So they would freak out, lose more battery. So I had to manually control it down quick. So good that I've been doing all the practice on the simulator. It turned out to be a little weird. I flew, flew the first time and the, unfortunately, the footage was not saved. So why? I don't know. So then I flew the second time, tried again, still nothing. And it turns out that the brand new SD card that we're using isn't working. And it's supposed to be very fast. It's, uh, it has U3 in it and it's class 10 and it writes at, what is it, 93 or 95 megabits per second. It's an ultra card. It's, a, it's supposed to be a very, a SanDisk card. Should be very good, but unfortunately it's not working. So when I use the internal memory, it's working fine. So I gotta figure out this whole memory card thing. Uh, I used the memory card in my phone yesterday and it worked fine, but in this device, I get this small little yellow warning, super small, that I didn't notice. And so it nothing was writing to the disk. So anyway, so far so good, everything is great. I just have to get a little bit more familiar with the settings in flight so I can, I, I can, I can, adjust the settings as quick as possible. Some of the auto settings that I noticed were not very good, uh, like exposure specifically. When you're flying, the exposure was a little bit off, like a lot off. So if it's an auto exposure, you'd think it would calculate a little bit better, but unfortunately it was so overexposed. Um, so I have to figure this out. But uh, anyway, so once I threw the manual up, it was good to go. And then the other thing I couldn't figure out in flight was um, when I do the quick, quick shots, unfortunately the it was only shooting in 30 frames per second in 1080p. It wasn't shooting in 60 and I could not change it. It blocks me from changing that. So I don't know if that's a default setting or if there's a way I can change it. I don't know. Um, that's something that I have to figure out this week. But other than that, so far so good. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed some of the, the shots. They turned out pretty cool. I hope to get better as time goes on. But uh, anyway, that's it. Super short video, I guess. Thanks for joining me in the park. Thank you all for watching. Oh, and make sure you comment below about Jethro's filming skills. We all want to know how good he was today. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching. Remember, your time is running out. Start living. Take care.